friends welcome back again and today i'm going to share with you my recipe of garlic butter salmon with coconut rice and if you have not yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button below to prepare coconut rice in pressure cooker i'm adding one tablespoon of coconut oil you can even use olive oil and you can even make this recipe in rice cooker if you like or an instant pot to this i will add one tablespoon of mustard seeds chopped onions and lemongrass I have used the bottom part of the lemon grass, one tablespoon of salt, and mix all these ingredients well. Soon after, add one cup of soaked rice and mix well. I have used basmati rice for this recipe. You can use any rice of your choice. To this, I will add one cup of coconut milk and one cup of water. Your ratio should always be one is to two. After adding some garam masala which is optional I will seal the cooker and let it come to one whistle After one whistle I'm going to check on the rice make sure you have completely released the pressure from the cooker and the rice looks perfect and I will set this aside and start working on my vegetables To prepare pan cooked vegetables add some olive oil in a flat pan and throw in some red potatoes i'm using red potatoes for this recipe which goes really really well with the salmon i'm going to cook them until they are well cooked add some salt and black pepper and cover to cook and once they are ready just set aside to be served with salmon as a side now let's prepare pan seared garlic butter salmon to prepare that in a cooking pan add reasonable amount of butter to this add chopped garlic Soon after, add salmon fillet and prepare to add seasoning. I'm going to add salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and sprinkle some rosemary. You can even add oregano or basil, whatever herb is available to you. At last, I'm going to top it with some lime or lemon juice and let it cook for about. 8 to 10 minutes on one side. And after about 8 to 10 minutes, I'm going to flip it to cook on the other side and follow the same seasoning process like we did before. Add in salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and rosemary and also some lemon or lime juice and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes until well done. You can cook the salmon according to your taste. I like my salmon really well done, so I'm going to cook it really well. Now I'm going to throw in some cherry tomatoes. I'm not going to cook it too much. Now I'm going to check salmon. It looks pretty well done. Take the cherry tomatoes out so you don't overcook them. Delicious salmon fillet is now ready to serve with coconut rice, red potatoes. and cherry tomatoes thanks for watching i hope you like it like share and subscribe for more quick and easy recipes only at cookies